wabi sabi philosophy comes from Japan, from um, their background of cherishing things. But it also talks about like the name of this exhibition, transients. You know, it, it talks about things having the life, you know, and celebrating that. My tapestries can go in the ground and they will be gone. In three years, you won't find them. They will be become part of Earth. And that's the transients, and I, and I love that, you know, that they can return where they came from. And this is the philosophy that celebrating the life, celeb treasuring, treasuring that journey and learning from it. And that's what I'm trying to imprint in my work as well. Um, I was born in Latvia, um, in Riga. My childhood was a very simple one, and I was left by myself a lot of times. So where I found solace is in our backyard, in a garden. And I uh, used to collect little uh, pieces of timber and make little dolls out of it. I suppose the attention to detail started developing then. So my dad enrolled me, he noticed these traits in, in me, and he enrolled me in a fashion design school in Latvia. After that, after I finished the school, I started traveling. But then the time came and I said, I would like to settle somewhere. So we settled in, um, in Noosa. And I applied uh, for a, uh, a art school day in Noosa. So I did one year in, in TAFE, in arts. And this is where I really started coming back like to my creativity and thinking back on being a, a, a fashion designer maybe I thought oh I might go in there and I started researching the fashion design industry and it turned out to be really polluted industry and I said okay maybe not fashion design but um, texture let's go back to fiber where does fiber come from where do we get our clothes cotton wool silk raw form. What is the raw form of these materials? Throughout the years I've been thinking, oh, maybe I should go in a painting or do something else, but I keep coming back to this. This is what I would put on my walls because it, it breeds. Um, the material itself is absolutely magnificent. It is sustainable. It is eco-friendly. Uh, I, I call it the three-tier softening. So you have uh, audio softening, you have tactile softening, and you have visual softening. And softness is something that we have been embedded with since we were day 14 in our mother's womb. We associate calmness with softness. Out of respect, they will touch it with the you know, back of the hand and then they will see, oh, don't touch sign next to it, you know. And I don't mind that because um, it might look fragile, but the felt is a very, very tough material. So I taught myself how to felt because felting is also one of the ancient ways of creating a non-woven fabric. For this collection, um, I have been thinking about it for a year and a half. The felting itself um, doesn't start straight away because the preparation of the fibers could take also a month sometimes. For example, this fiber here, it comes from, uh, as it is, from the sheep's back. And I received that in a one big mat, so all of these little pieces were together and I just combed one end it, and it opened up in this beautiful, almost like a flower or bird-like, some ginkgo leaves. Um, it's an emotion. And then the layout starts and the felting process itself as well. All of the tapestries, they first are like 30, up to even sometimes 50% bigger than what you see them on a wall. And the felting is layering wool, uh, any decorative fibers like silk and flax, then applying water and soap and agitation. And in that process of agitation, wool shrinks. So one of my favorite artworks in this collection is the layers of the wind. I absolutely love uh, natural silks because they are such a they give such a luxury to an art piece and they elevate it to a different level. 
So one of the silks I am very passionate about is called Red Airy Silk. That is the orange silk you see in my artwork. That is a natural color. Red Airy Silk comes from India. It used to, this silk was strictly only for royalty in India and also around the world. And it is such a beautiful material. It's such a gorgeous luster and, um, and also mulberry silk is the white silk you see, the white lines you see in my work. It is uh, a wonderful, breathable material, very light. Um, and the little butterfly shapes that you see in my work, those are raw uh, silk cocoons that I take and I open them up and they become these wonderful little fairy beings almost in my work that fly through and give motion and movement all above. It is a textile uh, because you can wear it, but you can also put it on a wall. It is a fiber art because it is an artistic piece. I gravitate towards fluid lines and, and abstract expression of the feeling that I have inside for the world around me.